Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play from me. This is gonna be Let's Play Dot Hack Infection. It's kind of weird to say that, but this is Let's Play Dot Hack Infection. Um, Dot Hack Infection is actually the first part in a four four part RPG. So basically, it is one game split into four discs, and um, Infection is the first disc. And then there's Mutation, Outbreak, and Quarantine. But this is Dot Hack Infection. So, um, yeah, it's basically all one game, but it's just four discs, and, um, this has been, like, this is, like, one of my favorite, why is it getting all serious with the music, but the music just stopped. Uh, this is, like, one of my favorite childhood games, um, it's probably my, probably my second favorite franchise behind Kingdom Hearts, I know that's a bold statement, but to me, it lives up to that, and, um, I really... I really do love this game, um, I played it when I was, like, seven years old. I didn't know what I was doing, I didn't understand much, but, um, I still enjoyed it back then. Then I forgot about it for, like, ten years, and then all of a sudden I was browsing the internet and I read Dot .hack, and something clicked in my mind, and I just remembered the whole Dot .hack series. So, um, I went back and I bought all four games over again, just so I could complete the saga, and then I completed it on my own time, maybe a year or two ago, um, officially. So yeah, that's just like my little history with the series and the game. And now I want you guys to get started with the game. Well, at least get acquainted with the Let's Play or whatever. So let's get started with Dot Hack Infection. Der Mann des Schattens, auf der Suche nach dem Habedrachen, ist noch nicht zurückgekommen. Der Herd der Finsternis grollt. Helba, Königin der Finsternis, stellt schließlich ein Heer auf. Alparon, König des Lichts, grüßt sie. Und sie treffen sich am Fuße des Regenbogens. Die verfluchte Welle muss gemeinsam bekämpft werden. Der See von Alba brodelt. Der große Baum des Lichts fällt. Alle Macht zerfällt zu Tropfen im Tempel von Arche Köln. Wesen ohne Schatten, ihre Welt zerfällt zu nichts. Der Mann des Schattens auf der Suche nach dem Abenddrachen kehrt niemals mehr zurück. Okay, so the game may seem a little bit weird to you, but don't worry. It, things will get normal in a second. Okay, user registration is done. Now for a name. Hmm. Yasuhiko's probably already there waiting for me. I'd better hurry. Registration for the world is finished. You're confirming your name and character name. If you didn't realize by now, we are signing up for an MMORPG called The World, and um, it's not a real RPG or anything, so don't get your hopes up. But Dot Hack is a real RPG, so, and it's awesome. And uh, the username, you can actually just put anything at all. Um, it doesn't matter. All it it really has no significance. Um, it only show ever shows your username in the credits when you complete a part. Just like I don't know why it just does. And username is really just not important at all. Just so you know. What is important is the character name. Character name um, is what you're going to see all the time on your character. It's going to be your actual name of the main character. Um, the, the default name is Kite, and that's what it act he actually is known to be later in the games. But if you wanted to, you could change the name to uh, anything at all. But who wants to do that? So let's um, keep the name Kite, and let's move on. So Yasuhiko is waiting for us. We have a desktop. What? Yes, guys, this is our desktop. Um, we are on our desktop, and um, we have email, which is hugely important to the story, and news. So let's start out with news. I'll check my email first. Oh, okay. He's just the boss, isn't he? I'll check my email first. Okay, master. So we have three emails. Two of them from CC Corp for short um cc corp is the are the makers of the world obviously the world the game 
and yeah, we updated to a version, added elemental hit, treasure chest, blah. And um, thank you for registering, just explaining a couple things. It's really nothing significant in these two emails, just simple stuff. But then we have an email from Yasuhiko, who surprisingly has no profile picture. He's our friend who actually got us to register for this game. Hmm. So he is known as Orca in the world. He does not want to be called by his real name. Alright, he'll meet us at Root Town. And Root Town is in the, in the world, obviously. So let's check the news. The news section is not the most important to the story. It just lets you know what's going on in the real world and, you know, not on our desktop or in the game. It's like what's actually going on in the real world, but not... Whatever. So it's the actual world, the actual Japan outside this game, because I'm pretty sure it takes place in Japan. Yep, users in Japan alone. 10 million users. So the world has top 20 million users worldwide. Hi highest game selling game in history. And then there's this other stuff. They're like pretty futuristic news, and it's pretty cool to read sometimes when you're bored. Alright, so let's go ahead and log into the world. We don't want to keep Yasuhiko waiting. Now, I just want to say this now. This episode is going to have tons and tons and just tons of tutorial. Like, maybe half the episode is going to be tutorial. It's all for a reason. Um, the tutorial, kind I think, kind of overdoes it, and it's really not. Um, it's really too long. Like, not super long, but it's just, it's just that bit that's just, like, too long. So yeah, you're gonna have to deal with a tutorial in this first episode. Trust me, it won't happen in the other episodes. Anyways, this is the board. This is where people can post messages for public chat and not private. Private is for emails. Well, that's the board in a nutshell. It's me, Orca, the Blade Master. Whoa! You look so different from the real Yasuhiko. Nothing like the real you. Hey, in this game, I'm Orca. Regardless of what I am in reality, I'm pretty well known here. What? He's not kidding. He is well known here. No, you look great. <laughs> anyway, take this. Member address is the flash mail address you can only access in the world. Now Orca kind of treats us like a three-year-old in this tutorial. Thinks we've never seen a menu before, but you'll see why. In flash a second. mail. You can exchange messages with others in real time, as long as you are in the world. It's mostly used by newbies to contact other players to form a party. Try it out by inviting me to join your party. First. Press the triangle button to open the menu. In the menu, select party. Next, select add. Names of players who gave you yes. their member addresses <laughs> will be listed here. He walked us through the menu like that. That just happened. Choose a player you want to invite to your party and send a flash mail. Now you may see what I what I mean when I say the tutorial is a little bit overkill. Since you just started, you probably only have my member address. Now. Press the X button twice to send a flash mail to me. The twice is just to confirm ah, it. Got it. Join my party. It's kind of weird mailing each other when we're face to face. See? My name appears under your screen. That means I'm in your party. By the way, flash mail is only available when you're in a town. Oh, and you can't contact people when they're not logged into the world people do have a life you know we're not online 24 7 in other words you can't always count on the same members to form a party so try to get as many member addresses as you can you'll have more fun that way well now you play is up to you but since exp and stuff isn't divided among party members you really don't benefit if you go solo you should always bring a party when you're in this game okay well, why don't we head off? There's nothing to worry about. I found a perfect place for newbies. This is the Chaos Gate. A sort of transfer device that takes us from one place to another. Now, 
Press the X button. In the world, each play zone is called an area, determined by a combination of three keywords. Select new keyword. Of this course. is the keyword screen. You put the three Whoops. selected keywords one by one for each part, A, B, and C. Left of the entry plate is all the keywords you have. You can collect more of them by reading your emails, the board, and from other players. Now, let's enter some keywords by starting with part A. Select bursting from the list. So, um, basically I'll just explain it in a much more understandable way. Um, you combine three words and it makes an area that you can go to and areas are the main things you go to to level up fight Do things go on missions, whatever you do in the world. You do it in an area Good. Next for part B select passed over for the last one in part C select aqua field Now you're done specifying the area. Oh one more thing. You see the symbol on the left next to the keyword That's the server symbol it indicates which server you are currently logged on to. This symbol is Delta, so we're logged on to the Delta server. The list on the bottom right is the area status list. See the jewel next to the field type and dungeon? That indicates how the selected keyword affects the status. For example, check the field type. See the jewel on the right? This means that the field type is being determined by Aqua Field, the keyword in C. We don't know what kind of field the current keyword will create until we get there. But once we learn the effect of that keyword, we can combine it with other keywords effectively. For more details, check out the board on your own time. Alright, I'm just going to tell you what's important on the screen right now. Um, the jewels and all those colored things really um, are not as important. Um, I really never pay attention to them. What is important is that little box that says battle level an element battle level is the level of the area how strong the enemies will be it's level one we're level one so it's kind of perfect for us and the element is wood elementals I'll go into later all right let's get going to the Delta bursting passed over aqua field select police now you see what I mean when orca like overkills the tutorial I love you orca but you really baby us during the tutorials and it's not quite over yet just bear with me <laughs> Before we get going, let me explain to you about the camera control. During the game, enemies will attack from all directions. The idea is to adjust your view quickly to see your enemy and grasp the situation. I'll explain more later, but remember, you can only use skills on targets you can see. Basically, if you don't use the camera right, you'll be dead before you know it. First, rotate the camera. Push either the L1 button or the R1 button to move the camera. See, he even tells us how to go through the camera. Next, let's zoom in and zoom out. You can zoom the camera in or out by using the right analog stick. Orca, I'm doing it. Try it. Yeah, that's it. Finally, you reset the camera by... There you go. Remember, when the battle starts, constantly adjust your camera. To be honest... I, I think I just said this. You don't. I don't ever zoom in and out. Only in rare occasions, rotating is what's important, really. And it's not that serious. Where he's like, if you don't use your camera, you're gonna end up dead. It's true to an extent, but I, I don't know. He over exaggerates it just a little bit. Okay. And this is the field. It's the lowest level in the area. When you want to return to the town, press the triangle button and select Gate Out from the menu. Grassland, wilderness, and jungle are some of the field types. You can set them with keyword. The combination of field type and weather determines the area elements. For example, if it's a grassland and it's raining, that area will be a water element stage. The elements also affect the type of monsters that will appear and the items you can get. Don't worry about it now. As you get used to it, combine words to get different elements. Now, let's get going right. on our quest. First, check the map at top right. You see the red down arrow on it? That's the gate to the dungeon. Dungeons are super important. Um, they're a huge part of the game. In the dungeon's deepest level, there's a got statue that usually holds a rare item. Basically, the goal is to reach this statue. 
Sometimes. But enemies are often tougher down there. So gain some levels above ground before you head below. Okay, wait a sec. By using the fairy's orb, hidden data on the map becomes visible, like this. I Yellow see. Yellow areas on the map show magic portals, where you encounter monsters and treasures. So out of a magic portal, either a monster comes out or a treasure comes out. Never both. Alright. How about we go pick a fight? Head for one of the magic portals. <sighs> Finally. And I'm not even controlling myself yet. That's just kite moving. For a basic attack. Approach the target and press the X button. By the way, a cursor appears on the target so that you can check its name and hit points. Try using a basic attack to defeat some monsters. Alright, so I finally get to fight, sort of. Well, I don't really get to move around and this monster is not going to attack me no matter what. But I can try and do my basic attacks. And wow, I really suck in my test recording. I really beat this guy up in like two seconds. But look at me now, miss, miss, miss. I guess Kite... Has some stage fright. You started to get the hang of it, right? Okay, let's try using skills. Press the triangle button to open the menu and select skills. Okay then. When the Alright, I just did that really fast. I can explain it to you later. I can explain it all to you later much e more easily, so I'll just do what he says quickly. You can target a party member for recovery or remedy skills and the enemy for attack skills. Remember. You can only apply skills to targets within your view. Before using a skill, adjust the camera so that your target comes into view. Well, you must be sick of me at this point. Oh, you really don't know. It's your turn to tell me what to do by using chat commands. Okay, I'll teach you the command to get your members to heal. Okay, next. Go Oops. <laughs> So you tell them to heal with the red speech well, bubble, and they comment. It's good to be the boss, isn't it? They comment uh, basically on what you tell them every if time. If you use it well, you can bunch up on the enemy or give separate orders to each party member. When you add new members to the party, try various chat commands to see their effects. That's it for now. Just remember what you learned and start exploring. When you think you're ready, we'll head for the dungeon. Whew, I'm actually playing the game. Whoa, I'm finally moving my character. So yeah, as you can see, Orca is a way higher level than us. We only have 63 health. He has 1,050. Um, he is level 50, and he is just ridiculous, man. Orca is just... He is really awesome, but he's just not good at tutorials. I mean, he's good at them, but he's too much overkill. But he's an awesome character. So, um... Yeah, I guess we're just gonna go ahead and fight. I want to show off some skills. Come on, let me hit it. Aha, I hit it before you, Orca. I took away 16. Then I see Orca doing a freaking 5,000 damage. Thinking he's cool. Come on. Oh my god, I didn't even get to hit that one. Now, for this next one, I'm not gonna allow Orca to attack. In this game, you basically have complete control over your party members. So I can make him not attack if I want to. And um, I'm going to show off a skill that I'm going to use on, obviously, the goblin that comes out of here. That seems to be the only thing that comes out. So I'm going to go to Orca and tell him to stand by. What does he say? I'll leave you in charge. Okay. So what I want to show you is a skill. Hey, skill. Why don't we check out the dungeon? We didn't come here for nothing. I'm sorry, Orca. I, you see, I accidentally pressed gate out. It was my bad. But skills... Saber Dance is the only skill we have. It is close range, and I'm going through this very slowly, but in the gameplay, you'll see me do it a lot faster. And, uh, yeah, it's just basically an ability or move, and it's usually very awesome. Every time you change your weapon, you get new skills, or you may lose some of your old skills. Like, skills are tied to weapons. So now let's get to the good stuff. The dungeons. can start exploring the dungeon. One thing you need to remember is that you can't gate out when you're in a dungeon. To gate out and return to the town, you have to go back to the field. The Sprite Ocarina will warp you to the surface, but you can't use it during battle. This is the treasure box, but you knew that, right? <laughs> Did you think we knew that? You should know that there are two types of treasure boxes, normal 
and booby trapped. This one's normal. Hit the X button to open it. This one's booby trapped. Notice a different color? Try to open it as is, and you're screwed. Just use the fortune wire on it. Oh man, my bad. Um, the fortune wire is an item that actually takes off the trap, and um, yeah, it takes off the trap so it turns it into a normal treasure. See? Now it's safe to open. Press the X button to open it. And fortune wires are dirt cheap, so you buy them from the shop and then you can open any blue chest. Alright, that's besides the point. Let's keep moving. We're so insecure right now. What the? Did you just see that? Yeah. Was that thing chasing her? Yeah, but... Something like that on this level? Hmm, so there's a monster chasing a girl, and um, it has Orca worried, and you can see how strong Orca is. He's way over level for this place, so if Orca's worried, let's just say I'm worried too. <sighs> okay, I guess we should go that way to see where they went. Yes, Orca agrees with me, so let's go. Um, dungeons, you can obviously have a different map. You can see it's more of a maze type of map. And yeah, she's gone. Gone like the wind, and so is the enemy, thank god. But she's gone, which isn't good. I think. I think. We have no idea what- it looked like she was being chased, so... <sighs> now, um, the dungeon, the main, um, objective is to get to the end, obviously. Well, for today's dungeon. Better watch out! We're trapped in here! In the dungeon, there are rooms with traps everywhere. The only way to get out of a trap like this is by activating all the magic portals in the room. I don't know why Orca says that because the only way to get out of any trap is to activate all the magic portals in the room. And it's really not that serious. You really just can't get out the room. That's it. All right. Let's charge to that magic portal. Well, it kind of charged to us cuz it already activated obviously by the sound. Take care of handle him for me, Orca. Yep. I just have a friend named Orca who just takes out everyone. Alright, now we can keep moving, the portal's gone. We're so weak compared to Orca, it's, I feel bad for us. But not really, because we're a new player, and we have such a nice friend that they'll actually go to the through the time to show us around. Which is really nice. Alright, so now we have a four-way split right here, as you can see on the map. I'm gonna go to the sides first, because that's what I feel is good, I guess. Oh, we got some tougher enemies in here, as you can see, though. But Orca just took them out anyway, but still, they're tougher enemies. Because the more floors you go down, basically, the tougher the enemies, almost always. Like, that's how it's meant to be. The new floor you go down, um, there's gonna be tougher enemies every time. Orca just told me not to try too hard. So we were lucky this time, and actually, a, um, a treasure came out of this. Notice all dungeon portals are open, so there are no more fights in here. And we must be on the last floor of the dungeon because it's usually not floors of dungeons with no portals at all. So, do we have any fortune wire? Yes, we do. We can actually disarm the trap and get some headgear. Let me check if headgear is good for me, actually. Oh, we can't even use it. There's going to be armor that's like heavy armor that's like too heavy for us. And then there's going to be armor that's like... Basically, we're not compatible with every weapon or every armor. We're only compatible with twin blades. As you can see, Kite is using Twin Blades and Orca is a Blade Master. So he can only use um, a Blade Master Blade. This is the room where the statue is. There's only one of them at the dungeon's deepest level. And you can get rare items from it. That's enough adventure for now. Let's grab the treasure and get back to town, shall we? If we had a <laughs> what a small arena, dungeon. We could warp out of here. But we don't have one. That really sucks. So we gotta go back the way we just came. Sweat Ocarina, as he just said, will warp you out of the dungeon and you can just skate out from the field from there. So, Steel Blades, that is a 
type of twin blade, so that's for us. And yellow candy and grunt doll are just basically treasure that we can sell at shops. Treasure has really no purpose other than to sell at shops, and you only basically only get treasure from the god statue. Oh, I'm saying a lot. There's a lot of inspir information I have to go through, but once we get through it, it's gonna things will get better. So now my amateur blades. Ew, amateur blades are so amateurish. I can go on steel blades. You will see our attack accuracy and magical accuracy will go up. We will lose the skill Saber Dance, which is the skill I showed you guys earlier, but we will gain Tiger Claws. This is what I mean when I say weapons are tied to, like, skills. So I'm gonna put these on because they are a level 1 weapon. Well, never mind then. They're both level 1 weapons, as you can see on the bottom. Level 1. But this is better because um, it puts my stats up. So it's not much better, but it's better nonetheless. Or was the rumor true? Take this. Huh? Please take this. There's no time. Please. What's this? A great force. The power it holds can bring forth either salvation or destruction at the whim of the user. Your... It's coming. It's coming. That's something that I don't think I want to hear, and I think you guys know what's coming too. Run! It'll kill you! What the hell? What is this? Something wrong! Nothing works! Don't worry guys, it isn't YouTube that's messing up, that's the game. <laughs> Notice that's the book that the girl was um, giving Orca. I guess we have it now. with Yasuhiko why was he upset I wanted to ask him but he wouldn't even pick up the phone and then the next day I found out that Yasuhiko had been hospitalized I rushed to the hospital but they wouldn't even let me see him but I guess it's better this way I didn't want to see him all week and he wouldn't want that either but what the hell happened to him? I have a feeling that the key to it is somewhere in the world. So our friend is now in a coma. 
and um, we feel that the world, the game, the world, I'm gonna stop saying that from now and I'm just gonna say the world, the world is the cause of this. Huh, <sighs> pretty scary, huh? So we have some new mail from CC Corp server problems. You can only use the Delta and Theta servers for now, that's fine with me. Those are the lower level servers anyway, which we kind of need right now. Alright guys, um, um, this is the first episode. Trust me, things will get better. This is basically the tutorial episode of the whole thing. But very important key plot points just happened, and I know, I hope you recognize that. Um, we're getting the story started. Our friend has gotten into a coma, and now we are suspicious about the world. That monster was really suspicious and scary. Did you see how it just beat up our really strong friend Orca? It just destroyed him and managed to put his real world self in a coma. That is crazy. So anyways guys, that's the end of this episode. Like, comment, and subscribe for more Dot Hack Infection for the PS2. That's so fresh coming off my tongue. But yeah, Dot Hack Infection for the PS2. I appreciate you watching this all the way to the end. Especially through Orca's tutorial. We all had to do it. But I know you guys are going to miss him. Because I'm already missing him. But yeah, that's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching this. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys later.